Sunday. They're almost. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sandy. I'm a little wide open tonight. Well, some of you guys might know and some of you guys might not know and that's okay. I'm going to, we have, I have my new friend, Makiba on the line and I love this lady. We talk, we talk, I don't know. We've been talking a, a little while now, like a couple, maybe a couple weeks. And I don't remember exactly how we met because things have been just a little bit crazy. Um, but we met online. She has this pretty cute little site. Um, I, it's, it's um, something scrubs. I'm like so horrible with names. Everybody that knows me knows that that's just the way I am. Could you please tell me, Makiba, what is the name of your Facebook page? Scrub Life Forever. Scrub life forever. So, and we've been talking so much, like we've been talking personally, you know, back and forth. And, um, you know, I like the theme that she has on there and she's getting started with her page. Um, I want you to tell my, um, our group in Nurses Against Violence, what exactly you do on the page, you know, briefly. And we'll talk about, you know, especially our, our um, the one day that we were talking about that you like to, to have on there. So what, what is it about your page that we should tell our viewers to, to go on your page and like it as well? And we'll, well, in, on, in our group, Scrub Life Forever, we focus on encouraging and supporting healthcare workers. We encourage socialization and we encourage posting, posting funny things. People have even shared um, sad things that have happened to them at work. But basically we really wanna make sure that we're all feeling connected in every aspect of healthcare. So it's not, I'm a nurse, I'm an RN, right? But it's not just RNs. You have your CNAs, you have your phlebotomists, you have med, um, med medical assistants, um, you, have so, you have the whole gamut. So it's like one little network of all these healthcare professionals sharing their experiences. So that's why you need to join. And we're always like a building, a building each other and I have a saying that I always say, I'm like one meme at a time, you know, one giveaway at a time, one hug at a time, we're going to enrich each other's lives. I love that. And, you know, and I, I didn't do my introduction. I was trying to pull up our, our thing and I wanted to tell a little, a little bit about you. So you are, I'm sure everybody heard your accent. Love it. I'm going to New York City next week. Okay, and hopefully, you know, we're going to meet Les Brown, my daughter and I. Um, I'm so excited about that. Um, you're a nurse and you used to be a former New York City school teacher. Um, you have a background in conflict analyst and you're also a paralegal. So um, she also graduated from Garner Webb University with a Bachelor of Science in Nursing and the University of Phoenix with her Master of Science in Administration of Justice and Security with the Master of Business Administration. So we got a walking brain over there. I love it. <laughs> that is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, but you live in North Carolina and um, you're living with your daughter and husband and you enjoy reading, networking, and spending time in community service. Well, welcome to the biggest community service ever, Nurses Against Violence. So we're so happy that you could come and join us this evening um, to talk about your, your page and as well as I want to... So what we want also wanted to talk about coping mechanisms, right? Yes. So, mm -hmm. you know, I know my coping mechanism is being hopefully, you know, people feel comfortable with me talking about their stories um, to be able to, you know, a lot of people trust me and know that I'm going to talk about the facts no matter what, like, I'm not going to hold it back. Um, and because it's important because people don't have a voice, they feel afraid because of retaliation. And I understand this personally, and we'll talk about that briefly in a little bit, um, but your coping me mechanisms, oh, and I, and I got into speaking. That was the mm -hmm. other thing that I've gotten into. That is, I, I love speaking about things that are important. And maybe I'll share something with you in a little bit. Um, but you're, are you doing uh, scrub, 
your scrub site for your coping mechanism? Yes, what? yes, yes. Well, again, you know, my background, I've uh, worked in so many different fields, right? Legal, you know, in, um, in the world of legal, there's a lot of alcoholics. That's the way a lot of, that's the way a lot of, a lot of them cope. And they spend a lot of money because they make a lot of money. Um, teachers eat, you know, um, and they do things like that. But when I came into healthcare, I was surrounded by a lot of sad people. You yes. know, most of the people were just going home and going to sleep and coming back, exactly drininging, overeating, um, mm -hmm. and not really in the, and as I got to know people in the field, like talking to them, oh, one lady, you know, she liked to make jewelry. I'm like, oh, she's like, well, I don't have time. I'm like, you gotta make time for that. Yeah. So I began to find out you have all these little hidden treasures within that community. I said, we can have a whole flea market you know, with all the different things that healthcare workers are able to do, you know, beyond the scrubs, right? So as I developed Scrub Life Forever, I was like, you know, this would be excellent. We do have the piece where we talk about our socialization and community outreach, because that also makes you happy inside, right? You're exactly. getting to see the communities at a different light, right? They're not coming to you sick. You're, I'm giving clothes, we're giving clothes, we're doing things like that. So that's excellent, right? So you're doing those things, you're having giveaways, people are excited. And then you find out people have like all these little side things that they're, you know, trying to get off the ground. So we have Drop Your Business Friday. And you know what? I tell people all the time, I said, Drop Your Business is free advertisement. You may not get a sale today, but your name is out there. And, you know, in the back of your mind, somebody's having an anniversary and they're like, uh, I think I saw there's somebody that bakes cakes, you know, <laughs> in that group. And then you get business. And then now you're forced to do the things that helps you cope because I have an order, right? So I'm yeah. going to put together, you know, this fabulous cake or these, these dozens of muffins or whatever. And you find people like living their joy unintentionally. Yeah. And just knowing that I'm able to give people a platform where they can uh, express themselves they're forced to cope. You're going to come on that um, on that page. You're going to laugh. There's going to be something going on that's going to crack you up. Or you're going to see some type of giveaway or a charity event that's going to move you. And then you're going to be like, you know what? Life is not that bad. You know, look at this. You know, we're all healthcare workers and we give like 150% of ourselves. But yet yep. still, we're gathering up clothes to give to the, you know, the local um, clothing ministry here, right? Crisis. Or to give back right now, we're doing something for the um, the um, animal shelter in York. You see, when those things, that's joyful. So that's yeah. what it's all about, bringing us together, enjoying each other beyond these scrubs. And, you know, the name Scrub Life Forever, it came, it's so weird, because being from a vast background, you know, um, I worked, uh, I hate to even tell people this, I worked for an investment firm the crazies, okay? So, you know, I've seen everything. These people have like the, so much money, right? And so I've worked for an investment firm. I've worked in law. I was an educator. You know, I've worked as a, a paraprofessional, as a paralegal. So I've seen the whole gamut. And nothing has changed my life like healthcare. Mm -hmm. I can't, I forgot a lot of the encounters that I've had in legal and in other fields, but I'll never forget my first death. Yeah. I'll never forget a family member coming up to see a sick loved one. And I happened to know them and I was able to hug them. And they were so happy that I was their, you know, their, their mom's nurse. And it was just like, even now it just evokes so much emotion. And those are the things that stay with you. So once you have those scrubs on, I don't care if you are whatever capacity you work in healthcare. I don't care if you do it for 24 hours, okay? You are gonna be changed. It is gonna have an impact on your life. So scrub life forever. Those scrubs will change your life forever. I love it. You know? I love it. You know, and, and you know, so I'll be in New York City on the 13th of August. And if anybody's in New York City, if you have friends or anything like that, that are in Times Square area, on at 10 o'clock in the morning on 
the Sunday we're coming together to hold the banner nurses against violence in solidarity for nurses against violence to hopefully uplift to hopefully because we've got I'm not even going to talk about it right now right but we've got a lot of stuff happening and we got a lot more people that are going to be hurting and what we need right now and what we have to try to do is to try to pull each other up out of this hole Yes. I don't care what you have to do. And, you know, you and I, we had this conversation about a mutual friend about how she had, you know, a situation on the floor and, you know, it's just the way we see things and we're in caught up in the moment. And it's like, there might be something that we didn't think about. Maybe right. that it's good to have to tag that on somebody that you trust to talk to about things. You got to have yeah. your, what is it? Your wing person. Yeah. Right? So, and you guys can always reach out to me. And I know that Makiva is the same way. Like yes. if you ever have any questions or anything like that. Um, but I'm going to be in New York city. And if you want to see Les Brown, he's, this is the last time he might be in New York city. So if you want to go, we're going to be at the rock church in Queens, and that's going to be on the 14th. It's going to be from, I believe, uh, 10, 10 to 7 PM. Lots of huge lineup. We're going to have our hungry to speak group that, you know, some of our folks from that that are going to be speaking. They're very talented. And um, I just love the family that we have. Um, you could get tickets on hungerunleashed.com. And that is, <clears throat> this is my coping mechanism because I have a lot of negative that hits me and it's not the group, right? My group is what I love. I love nurses against violence. We're getting ready to go into to year number four, right? Wow. And we are growing like leaps and bounds. And I love everybody that reaches out to me. And I, I appreciate you way more than you know. So thank you very much for joining us on Nurses Against Violence and our, our program Nurse Talk with Dr. Sandy. I just want to share with you a speech that I put together um, that... Um, you know, has a little bit of what we do, a little bit about, I think I'm actually getting nervous here, um, a little bit about what, you know, we do as Nurses Against Violence and try to build the momentum amongst the population out there. Now, this might be stepping on some feet. This might be annoying some people that aren't in healthcare, but the fact of the matter is, what is happening to nurses and frontline healthcare workers. That's what we have to get people to understand. So here's something that I put together for my, and I know that we only have, hopefully more, more people will jump on and hopefully listen. Um, when life gets overwhelming and hard, how will you show up? That feeling of self-defeat, blocking progress slows you down, playing into the abyss of negative self-talk, rendering you to feel hopeless, and helpless and emotionally out of control, it can be hard. We tell ourselves all the excuses why not to excel to achieve our own potential, not taking the steps necessary. Conditioned by circumstances, childhood and trauma, isolation and challenges that mold us into who we become. Dr. Eric Thomas talks about how we must be stronger than our excuses. We have two directions in life, to stand alone or just be like anybody else. It is our choice. I had to make a choice at, you know, that no other 16 year old should ever have to make. Homeless, poor, learning challenges and abandoned by her own mother. I learned very quickly of how to never let somebody else's storm change the direction of my sail. Dropping out of the ninth grade, working three jobs to get by, I swore this would not be my legacy. Like an eagle, you must soar to your greatness. A third generation single mother in 2019, I finished my doctoral degree in 18 months with a 4.0 GPA. With the project of preventing patient on nurse violence through education, pulling me out of the darkness. I, I'm, 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 I feel that, like, I feel that. I feel that. I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to get it together here. <laughs> I founded the nonprofit Nurses Against Violence Unite. Every day I fight for the hearts and minds and safety of the frontline healthcare workers that are witnessing and caring for thousands of, death, thousands of death on a daily. 
It is hard, ladies and gentlemen. Pull out some paper and I want you to write these quick tips that help me achieve my goals in life. Number one, in order to get stronger, I had to be stronger. That meant standing up, taking a baby step forward. In my head, knowing how, no matter how hard or scared and afraid. Got this. Staying still was not an option. Number two, change my thoughts by plugging into powerful words of those who inspired me. This would be Les Brown, Jim Rohn, Tony Robbins. You know, it is very important. We have Jim Rohn, the little farm boy from Idaho. We have Les Brown, Mammy Brown, Mammy, Mammy Brown's baby boy, telling me it was okay to keep going. I just had to get started. It was just that easy. With that, easy was just not an option challenging me to be hungry for the life that I deserved. No, and number three, never ever take no for an answer. Telling yourself, how bad do you want to step into your greatness? And what is stopping you and why can't you? It is hard. It is hard thinking about what what it would be it is hard and standing still will be even harder just thinking about and wishing that someday that could be you so it is you ladies and gentlemen that have to step out to where you belong in life you are caregivers excuse me you are caregivers you are the best ever at what you do and it is you it is you, the one that makes a difference in people's lives. And don't you forget it. I am here for you. I will always be here for you. And I want you to understand that if you have any issues, that you can always come to me. I'm going through some crazy stuff right now, guys. But I'm Dr. Sandy. And nobody's going to get me down. So... I want you guys to understand out there. I know I see a lot of people coming in and watching what, uh, what we're doing here. If you need help with positive coping mechanisms, Makiba has lots of things that she's working on as well as I would love to be able to talk to you guys about maybe speaking about all the things that are bothering you. Because let me tell you, they're a challenge. When you're trying, like, look at me, I still get a little bit emotional because I live that. That is my life. What do you want to talk about? You don't have to talk about what's happening to you on the floor. You can say, Sandy, hey, I need somebody to talk to me, talk about my story for me. I'll be happy to. And I wouldn't even say your name. Nobody would ever even know. So I want you to know that I'm here for you. And by talking about sometimes coming on, some people do anonymous reporting and we don't, I have a certain trick that I do that will not expose who you are. If you would like to talk about your story, it will be a sense of release to be able to talk about what's happening to you and, um, or even in the past, just to let it go. Because sometimes our past holds on to our future and we need to let that go. And it's easier said than done. Trust me, it is. So we have, I have something that I am, um, I am going to be doing here. And this is pretty, uh, I, I talk a lot to my students about sometimes you just, and I don't think Makiba knows about this yet, but sometimes you just have to take that step forward, right? So a lot of you guys know I have this prevention program and I charge about $169. It's actually very cheap compared to what the research that I've done. And, um, you know, with also the registered trademark that's also applied to it and everything, the marketing and um, the platform that it's on. So I have to pay for that. Um, so I have, I am actually letting the holistic crisis program go for $37.77, I usually charge $169. And you would come out with a certificate. Um, the reason why 
I am bringing it down is because we are getting ready to go into wave. Um, we're getting it ready to go into our second housing bubble. And when you go through the program, you'll see that I do have to do some updating. So since I had to do some updating, I decided that I would reduce the price and also get, if somebody wanted to make a donation out there, it would help somebody else to be able to get this program for free to pay for the program for them. Um, I'm all about paying it forward. I want to make sure, and I talk a lot about, de you know, not de-escalation, but about prevention tactics. A lot of you guys know it's a lot of relationship building. I'm, I freely talk about it all the time, but this is a curriculum that will help understand, especially for our new grads that are out there. We have to understand if we're not teaching reality, those nurses are coming, they're hitting the floor and they're leaving because they don't understand what the heck's going on. Um, they do, but they don't right? And we need to prepare our nursing students. And also, this will also help with um, any kind of policies that you're trying to update with your, you know, at your work. It's not about de-escalation, guys. It's about, it's not about meeting. If you look at the definition, it is meeting the person when they're already upset. They're already halfway there to like way past gone. You can't control, you cannot help them right? So it's better to prevent problems, as we know as nurses. That's why it's called the Holistic Crisis Prevention, right? Violence Prevention Program, because we're stopping it before it even gets to that point. And I talk about all the things that you're going to need to know about addiction, about mental illness. A lot of you guys are like, well, I have mental illness right now. Well, yeah, we all have some kind of a mental illness, mental imbalance, right? Anxiety, sadness. But the fact of the matter is, we don't know how to cope with it. Got the coping mechanisms with Makiba. I have a way of helping release that as well. Why can't we help each other with uplifting each other and holding each other's hand so we can keep each other out of the hole? And you know what I'm talking about, guys. You know about the hole. If you don't know what about the hole, do you know the hole, Makiba? Have you ever met the hole? That hole where you're holding on to that little branch? It's a pretty deep, it's a pretty, life. yeah, <laughs> and I had, I had nightmares of that for years when I was barely hanging on when I was a kid, holding onto that branch, sliding down, right? Mm -hmm. That's the way a lot of healthcare workers feel right now. Yeah. And if we do not help each other, it's, it, we have to, like, there's, this is why we became nurses. We're here to help each other. It's not about the paycheck. Right. So exactly. with that being said, um, I, I wanted to make sure that everybody knows I'm going to be releasing some information in the um, nurse, uh, nurse Against Violence page, as well as also um, I'm going to, you know, if Makiba wants to spread it out there, too, because yeah. for thirty seven seventy seven, that's cheap, you know, and it will also help Nurses Against Violence and help the nurses and nurses against violence. So anybody that wants to make a donation, we're a 501c3, and that will help with assisting the program. It will help with assisting another nurse to get a program for free. So, um, and you can find it on holisticcrisisprevention.com. And I will have um, the discounted code soon published. So, okay. So is there anything, <laughs> did, I, did I miss anything? We packed a lot of stuff. I in. know that's right? exciting. I think that's awesome. And definitely um, share that in Scrub Life Forever. Um, and I'll share it on some of my other pages as well. Um, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Just even people understanding what's going on. Um, is the, these, these are the type of talks we need to have, you know? Yeah, I agree. And, you know, you know, even if you and I had nothing in common, we have something in common, A lot, yeah. you know, and, and even, even if somebody you just met, you do have something in common. You became a nurse. Exactly. You're, freaking, you're badass. Exactly. Right. You know, so it's very important that, you know, when we talk about hunger, when we talk about getting to your next goal, nurses already got it. We just kind of lose ourselves a little bit along the way and we need to help each other with that. So 
Um, I want to thank everybody out there for watching, and we're going to be putting this on all of our platforms. And Miss Matthews, I appreciate you coming on with me. I know it's not Tuesday night. Um, just so you know out there, we are going to be changing the day to Wednesday nights because I have obligations um, that have arisen with Mr. Brown. You know, I want to make sure that I'm on those calls as well as also I have some things going on with. Um, you know, the organization. So I want to thank everybody for coming on and listening to us. I want to special thanks to Miss Matthews and another successful show. So thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Sandy. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a great night. Bye everybody out there. Bye-bye.